Hello friends, Coolio here. Now listen up, okay? We are checking out Iron Saga today, and I've got some conflicting feelings about this game. Now for those of you guys that don't know, this is a brand new hero collector that combines sort of a bullet hell style of gameplay with anime hero girl and guy hero collecting and some amazing mechas, like some downright super, super cool mechas. Now I do have to say right off the bat with this game is I'm really torn between liking this game and hating this game. Now the reason why is there's a lot of things about this game that are really, really cool. And then there's some things about this game that I just don't like. So let's go ahead, let's just jump in. Let's kind of get some of the negatives out of the way. I personally think that the gameplay itself is actually rather, rather boring. Okay, it's it's not that fun. Now when I first heard about this game and I was thinking, oh snap, like a, a, like a bullet hell mecha hero collector game, that sounds amazing, I wanna play that. I like I love bullet hell style games, you know, move my characters left to right, trying to dodge attacks, and everything like that. No, that's that's not the case. I am not playing the game right now. The game is very, very auto heavy. Your characters are moving around, they're doing their automatic attacks and everything. So most of like the strategy and the depth that this game has is going to be combining the different types of mechs and heroes together to create a team whose combos, abilities, special effects, passes, or whatever, all kind of contribute to help each other out and to overcome the odds of certain situations. You are not going to be controlling the mechs. Now you can drag them across the screen, you know, you can manually make them move into certain areas. You know, maybe that'll come in useful later down for like maybe like high difficulty bosses or something like that. But most of your gameplay is going to be you jumping into a stage similar to this, clicking on the next stage. Ooh, a stealth kit. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Going from stage to stage, hitting past the story. Yes, yes, yes. We'll skip that going into here. And then watching your mechs auto fight in the next area. Now you can manually con uh, manually activate special abilities that each of the different commanders have or your pilots have uh, once they fill up just like this at the very bottom. Go ahead and activate that. She activates, sends off uh, glowing orbs of energy. This guy can activate. He, I think he like shoots off a bunch of missiles all yeah all over the place. So there's that interaction, but there is an option in the menu system if you want to just turn on automatic skill activation so if you really really don't want to play the game you can make the game completely play itself now i know some people enjoy auto gameplay they're, they're more in it for the character management and progression and some people want you know manual gameplay for me personally for a game like this when i was expecting a bullet hell style thing i was hoping to be able to manually control my units dodging fire from left to right and everything like that but that's not the case, and that was just, that's my personal opinion, that's my personal beef with the game, something I didn't personally enjoy. Now one thing I do want to mention as well is, when I was looking into this game with the release, this sort of early release that they did, is a lot of people were saying that the English translation of this game is not very good. Now I do have to agree at some parts, because it turns out, it looks like the developers are actually still going through and combing out a lot of the different uh, mechanics, or not the mechanics, I'm sorry, a lot of the different translations that this game has, making them better over time. They just released a patch this morning where they fixed a lot of English translations and stuff. It's still not perfect. It's not perfect at all, but it's definitely still manageable to be able to like, go through and, and experience the story. But after a while of like still not the most interesting stuff, I kind of just started skipping past the story and just engaging in the gameplay. Now, the thing that I really like about this game, now let's let's get past those, those are my two negatives about the game. The slight English translations, which are getting better, the bad English translations, and the fact that the gameplay wasn't all that interesting to me. Now let's actually talk about the things that I really like about this game, and that's gotta be the mechs, okay? So we're gonna head on over to my team. We're gonna go and check out, actually let's go to my hangar. We're gonna go ahead and check out our mechas, okay? So the game has already been giving out a ton of free SS, uh, triple S units. Uh, simply by just jumping into the game. We are gonna try to summon a couple of more today as well as a couple more pilots. But I gotta say, it's super, super cool and I love the art style for these mechs. Now I'm not a big fan of the top-down version of them, but when you go in and you actually take a look at their images, they're just so freaking cool, okay? Plus some of them have more than like one image that you can take a look at, like this. You can go and take a, like sort of like a blueprint spec at like the different weapons and armor and everything that these mechs have. It's, it's so cool and I absolutely love it. They look absolutely amazing. So we got Vasago. Go ahead and take a look at their art. Again, I just, the mechs in this game are hands down my favorite part. I think they look, look at that. That's so cool. I love the art style for these mechs. They are amazing. Look at this like powered up version. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really cool, you guys. Also, the music of this game is fantastic. It's 
it's really, really good music. So another plus for that one. I don't know. It's weird that this guy's head just like pops up out of there, but there you go. If you're a big fan of like the Gundams and stuff like that, I think you'll really, really like this game. In fact, we just got this guy. Let's go ahead and take a look at his art. Look at that. It's standing in the ocean, getting ready to fight. So he only has one piece of art. So now the other thing too, the game also has pilots that you can uh, collect. Now, most of the mechs in this game, a lot of their attacks and passes will come from the mechs, like health, uh, different attack styles and everything like that. What type of, like if they're like a tank or an attacker. Now the special abilities will actually come from the pilots themselves. So if we go ahead and look at Guinevere here, it says that she has an emergency treatment ability, uh, heals 18% HP for all allies, increases defense for a brief time. And then you can unlock more and more abilities as she upgrades. Now, this is just a little minor thing that I don't like. I'm not moving that text. The game is moving it and it gives me a headache. It literally gives me a headache to look at the text as it just like moves by itself. And I was like, oh, well, that's not big of a deal. Can I move it? No, you can't move it yourself. It's really annoying. It's really annoying that you can't. And the text is just constantly like bumping up and down. So that's one thing. Not that big of a deal, but it was giving me kind of a migraine. Just like looking at all this text moving around. Now, one thing I do have to give them props for and thank you so much is if you actually go to the skins of the units, there's a couple of Christmas skins going on, but you can click on here. And you could take a look at the skin without the UI. You could take a look at the characters without the UI. Thank you. You know me. If you guys are make beautiful waifus for us to collect, I don't want the interface to obstruct their beauty. Now that leads me to another point I gotta let you guys know is there have been confirmations that the game has been censored from its Eastern release. Now, according to the developers, they came out and specifically said due to certain laws, and I'm doing air quotes there, certain laws they had to go through and censor some things, but they're still kind of working on hopefully kind of getting past that. I don't know how truthful that is, but I just want to let you guys know the game has some censors, uh, censorship from their Eastern uh, sibling. Now, let's go ahead and actually talk about the mechs and the heroes. We're going to go through and we're going to collect some stuff. Actually, I'm sorry, before we do that, I do want to point out one other thing. There's a bunch of events and stuff that you can play through that have like kind of fun little activities like the guessing arena. This one's kind of interesting. I'll just show you guys this one real quick. And then there's one other gameplay mode I'm not going to play, but I do want to talk about. So basically it says choose a winner in your mind. Is it going to be the top team or is it going to be the bottom team or are they going to draw? I'm going to say the bottom team because they have a mecha. Go ahead, hit below. And then basically you just sit here and watch and hope that your team wins, which by the way, I've done this like three times now and I've lost every single time. And it looks like I'm probably going to lose. So I don't know if there's some kind of weird odd thing going on where they're, you know, it really isn't randomized every time or basically it's the game. Like if you choose one, the game's like, yeah, you're gonna lose this one no matter which one you choose. I don't know, but look at that. I lost again, but it's interesting. Little game modes here and there that are kind of fun. The other thing that they have too is the combat simulation. Now I'm not actually going to jump in and play this because it'll turn the screen sideways and do all this weird stuff. But basically you can go in and you can manually control your mechas, whichever one that you want. You only get to pick one and you fight against like not waves of enemies, but you fight against enemies that will come at you. Um, but the controls aren't very good. Like I did it. I did not enjoy it. It's interesting that you can control it sideways using like a virtual joystick and little buttons here and there, but it didn't really feel that much fun. So let's go ahead and let's actually finish the video by doing some summons and stuff. Now this game has a pretty interesting thing when it comes to collecting pilots. So these pilots will actually show up here in the cafe and they're set, they're set on like a timer. And every time the timer resets, you get a new pilot. Now you can actually go through and you can do things by giving the pilot, like you want to take him out to dinner. You can spend currency to give him a, uh, some soft drinks. Uh, maybe you want to spend some grape juice, maybe give him a gift, maybe an affection but basically if you can get their affection to a certain level then you can then go and hire them i haven't been able to do it yet so i don't know exactly how it all kind of comes together at the end but i did think that was kind of fun now let's go ahead and head on over to the pilot gotcha uh, but i do want to make sure that i let's actually spend some currency on getting these mechas first so here's the summoning banners for the mechas the mechas are different from the heroes so you can kind of think the mechas are like the equipment gotcha in the game for those of you that you know just let you know so we're gonna do the newcomers market. I believe we can do this. Are you sure you wanna spend 60 diamonds? Yes. And we got ourselves a silver fox. See, even like a unit that's like not as super cool as the other ones, like this art looks amazing. I, I love it. I think it looks so great. So there we go. I'm not gonna spend any more on that. I did just wanna show it to you. So we're gonna do the high end mecha market. We're gonna spend 10, 2000 gems, which I haven't spent any money. All these gems have like come to me completely for free. The game does give you Quite a lot of gems at the beginning, so. 
The Burst Ultralisk. Thor, look at that. What the heck? Dude, that looks freaking sweet. The Heat Assault Vehicle, Julius, Lynx. See, the art in this, you guys, is awesome. Again, props to the art team. Okay, we just got a new Triple S, which looks so freaking good. Um, let's see if we can't go back to the cafe, though. And we're going to recruit 10 times and get ourselves some pilots. We got Bradley. We got Aya. I am not skipping. This The, the thing is skipping it by itself. So I apologize because it's going really, really fast. We got Judith. Actually, Judith is one of the ones that I really wanted to collect. So we got Judith on our team, which is awesome, which we could totally connect her together. Go over to my team. We are going to replace. Ooh, man. All my mechas look so cool, though. Let's replace Erica. Uh, oh, no. That's the wrong button. I didn't want to press that one. I wanted to go back. And we are going to just... Oh, my gosh. No. Click on this one. And... What the heck? Where's all my units at? Oh, there we go. That's the button. The change pilot is what I was looking for. Judith. Yes. We want Judith on my team. There's also equipment items that you can uh, collect throughout the gameplay that you can equip onto your uh, onto your pilot to give them enhanced stats here and there. But we're going to replace this one, change the mecha, and we're doing Thor. Holy crap, Thor looks so cool. Again, I'm, I'm so torn, you guys. The gameplay to me isn't the most fun thing, but dang, are these freaking mechs super cool looking. Image. So here we go, this is Thor, look at this. And then we can go ahead and take a look at some of his closer specs, or like his blueprints, his Warhammer. And there we go. So you guys go, that's my thoughts on Iron Saga. Are you guys enjoying this game? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Are you playing it? Is there something I missed? Is there something you guys wanna see in the future? Let me know down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more gotcha gameplay videos coming soon. Okay friends, I'll see you next time.